Airtex offers a wide variety of universal fuel pumps from 6 volt up to 24 volt, from pressures for carbureted applications to high pressure for multi-port applications. Anytime you install an Airtex universal fuel pump, it is recommended to install a safety switch, Airtex part number OS75. The operation of this switch is controlled by oil pressure. We will install this switch into the oil pressure galley of the engine. We will be sure and use thread sealant on any fitting that we install into the oil system. Your application may require the use of extra fittings. These can be purchased at your local parts store. With the installation of an OS75, this will assure that the fuel pump is only operating when the engine is running. When crimping the female connectors on, be sure and use the proper crimping tool. On the safety switch, there are three terminals. One terminal marked with a P is power going to the pump. There is also a terminal marked with an S. This will be a wire going to the starter solenoid that is powered up when cranking the engine. There is also an I terminal. This will be ignition power when the key is in the run position. Always be sure and route your wire safely. Keep it away from any heat or moving components. Now we'll move to the installation of the Airtex Universal Fuel Pump. Be sure and match the correct fuel pump for your application. In the box with the pump, you get everything you need to complete the installation. Depending on the style of universal fuel pump for your application, there may be different styles of brackets. Always advisable to put thread sealant on the threads of the fittings before installing them in the pump. We've installed a new fuel line on this vehicle because of the deterioration of the original fuel line. If your fuel line is usable, you'll have to cut the line and flare it in order to install the fuel hose. We will take the two lengths of hose that come with the pump and install it onto our fuel line. Be sure and pick a location within two to three feet of the fuel tank. When you install the fuel pump, look at the fittings to assure that you have the outlet pointed towards the engine. With the pump mounted to the frame, we can fit our hose to the proper length and install it onto the pump. We can tighten the pump completely to the frame. Make sure the outlet of the pump is slightly higher than the inlet. Now we will make our negative connection. It is advisable to run this to the negative post of the battery. The tan wire is the positive lead of the pump. This is the lead that comes from the safety switch on the P terminal. If we were installing this pump onto a positive ground system, we would take a negative lead of the pump and connect it to the P terminal on our safety switch. 